Hey yeah, Spaz here back with another YouTube video and I've just seen this article and I wanted to do a wee quick video on it just to let you know and it's all about the new Intel Rocket Lake CPU that's coming and it's apparently 11% slower than the AMD's top Ryzen 5000 series chip. So let's get to it. As I said before, I've just seen this wee article and it's I don't have a lot of information on it, I've just seen this article, I'll a wee quick scan through it and I just want to make a wee note of it and do a wee video for yourself just to let you know um, just about it and that you know and the, I'm going to link the article in the description below but before we get into it I just want to say if you're liking the content that we're creating and if you're wanting to support the channel just hit that wee like button and if you want to subscribe to the channel then you can be you can see all my other videos and if you want to be notified when the videos drop just hit that wee bell notification as well and thanks for all your support for the channel so in the article it is just saying that the new rocket leg cpu is coming out and they've done a couple of benchmark tests on it and on one of the tests it is just powering and performance maybe slightly slower than the 5900x now it's on the geekbench test that they've done this so obviously the 5950x is coming at a sin single core of 1647 and the Rocket Lake S chip is an 8 core CPU, 16 thread, and it's coming at 1645. Now, this is a single core performance. Um, just to make a note, they've noted here that the Ryzen 5 of 600X is coming at 1595. To me, it's not that's not a big mad drop either, so they're all in sort of round. Now, this is some single core performance. Obviously, we need to wait to see what the multi core performance is going to be and all. And. Um, one of the things you note in the article as well that the chips are still they're still running on a 14 nanometer process. So now I'm not sure if that's another process note as well, backport to 14 nanometer or something. I'm not sure. They just noted it on here. It's a 14 nanometer process still on. Um, uh, personally, I think AMD needs to, or sorry, AMD Intel really needs to get get things sorted. Start getting on a new node. Start, you know, getting back into the game. Give a bit, or AMD a bit of competition, so they do. Um, comparing this Rocket Lake S chip to even Intel's old last generation, the ten nine hundred K, for example, or something, they've actually went down. There's a the maximum core frequency in this one here is showing fourteen four point nine eight mega gigahertz, and I think. Was it the 10900K was going up to a maximum of 5.2 or 5.3? Obviously, depending on your colon and what way your system set up and things like that and overclocking, you know. But I just I just want to put that in there as well, you know, some information that's on it. Um, the other test they done as well, they were showing, they were running a performance test on a game at 1080p. Now, I haven't played the game and it's called Ashes of Singularity and let me see sorry i'm just skimming through this while i'm doing this video so they were saying that they benchmarked it and it was where is it at they were saying it's pushing 65 frames per second on preset settings and scoring a noble 600 6,400 points and at 1080p it packs close to 63 frames per second and scoring 62,000 points. Um, so this is the part, so obviously the Geekbench says part was the first part was saying. So this is the gaming part of what they're doing and they're saying that it's 11% slower than the 5950X Ryzen 9 of AMD's chip and it scored 71,000 points and it's pushing 72 frames per second so that that is a decent you know it's 11% it's increase over that chip the only thing for me as well like I know I know that's a one for AMD but the price that you're paying for that chip so you're paying what seven fifty eight hundred I think it's eight hundred dollars 
probably 750 pound here running around that give or take but if that chips half the price then that's only 11% of the store then do you know what I mean so and it's not going to be half the performance so it's only 11% store than that 5950x I would like to see a comparison you know with the 5900x and the 5800x as well and even the 5600x just to see what way they stack up in performance and you know going for price as well which would be quite interesting but we'll have to wait and see so obviously this probably this chip's still at early stages and they're sort of probably testing and things as well but as far as i know they're maybe due out early in the new year maybe in the first quarter or second quarter um but it's just interesting to see and that's just my only sort of thoughts on it there you know the performance comparing you know in that game um but obviously we need to get a bit more specs and information you know and comparing more comparisons with different cards and so on and so forth but yeah i'm going to leave it there just want to do a sweet quick video let you know what's out there I'll put a link in the description below for you and you know as i said before earlier i'm going I'm going to wrap it up here actually, sorry. Um, but as I said before there earlier on the video, if you want to support the channel, you like the content and the creating, if you want to hit that wee like button, and if you want to hit the subscribe button to be notified, you know, see all my videos, and if you want to hit that notification bell, you can see all future videos when they drop. And here, I hope you like the content that I've created, and I'll see you until the next video. See you soon. Bye.